able to do whatever she wants for the rest of her term. The trust between the government and the parliament, the government and the country, that trust has been broken. We can no longer trust them with anything. Because if you could do something like that, what is it that you will not do? Tell me. If you could sit down there and come up with an idea to use the parliament where there was no law that given anybody that right and to create the right and to establish the right in such a way that it can be done behind the backs of the people and that it doesn't matter what you do now what you do now the damage has already been done and then you turn around and say, it's all are we in the parliament doing? And I keep saying to the people of Trinidad and Tobago, I am taking no blame and no responsibility for the action of the cabinet of Trinidad and Tobago. I am not a member of the cabinet. The matter of the terms of Clause 34 is one thing. But when it goes there with assurances that it would not take place within a certain time frame, which would have ensured that party finances would not have been able to do what they have done there. And that any conspiracy hatched by the government would not have come to fruition. And the government of its own, using the cabinet authority, mislead the parliament, breach the parliamentary trust, disregard his commitment to the parliament that is for the government's account